Hello. Imagine trying to fill in this kind of artwork with the paint bucket tool. It would take ages. You'd have to use the lasso tool, make a selection, going in and out of all of these little sawtooth pencil marks here until you selected the whole head and then fill this selection with a background colour before you could start painting. Or you could get a paintbrush tool of a decent diameter and type and manually paint around the edges like this. But uh, it takes too long. So I figured there's got to be a better way of doing it. One of the things in the training that came up was really quick ways of making selections, uh, which is all very well, but they don't always work on broken bordered areas like this sawtooth periphery we're dealing with here. If I zoom in, you can see what I mean. So these breaks, even with the quick selection tool, I found there was no reliable method for selecting just within the bear's head. So I made a little action for it. I'll show you how that works now. If I zoom out a little, there we go, get the bear's face on screen. With the sawtooth layer selected, just click play on the action and the first thing it does is it copies the sawtooth layer into a new document where it's easier to work on. And then it uh, strokes a vector outline formed from the border of the document using the quick selection tool with certain settings that uh, I found really work when uh, it comes to filling in the sawtooth periphery on the bears, uh, limbs and uh, other components. Then it pastes a filled version of that uh, selected area back into the original document and all you've got to do is just sort of drag it into place like this. I'm going to refine this uh, if I get a chance using some Photoshop scripting. Uh, Photoshop accepts a coding language called JSX which could um, cut out the need to readjust the position on that last little bit there. And uh, there you go, that's turned what was for a bear's head like that probably I know five ten minute job uh, into a job that on a, a work machine rather than this crappy old Mac I'm working on now would take about three to five seconds and you'll have tasks very similar to this in your own workflow whenever you do find you're banging your head against the wall time after time doing the same old boring chore just think there is always going to be a better quicker way of doing it with Photoshop.